Oh. This ship is dying. And my only what? way out what? of here is with one of them. I'm already into this. Oh. What? Oh, man. Thank God we're finally getting more games like this, man. Like... This isn't Bioshock, but from the creator of Bioshock. I mean, right? but but honestly, like, we have been so far away from this idea of games for a while. Like, thank God we're coming back. People say I have this coming. And you know what? They're right. Dang, okay. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Yo, that looks incredible. All right, we're going to take that one back too because that's worth taking back. So, called Judas by... What was it? Camp Story? Yeah. Ghost Story. Ghost Story. I have not been following this studio, but clearly creators of Bioshock. And I think it's it's pretty clear they're not shying away from, you know, their roots, which I think is good. I mean, I think the reason Atomic Heart looks so good is because they're they're tapping into that same thing, that first-person shooter with a very yeah. um, kind of, like, almost dystopian animatronic vibe. And, like, I paused it here on this uh, character who's kind of like an android with, like, her face half ripped off with the pink hair. Because, mm -hmm. like, this is exactly what they should be making nowadays. Like, it's so wildly different. And the Bioshock Infinite was the last time we were really in that type of world. It's been years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been years. Crazy. So let's see here. So we got definitely some very zany and wild characters. I don't necessarily... I wasn't following the premise of this game at all. Like, I couldn't follow what was actually happening. But then you get to, like, this this shot here where you've got kind of, like, the really pleasant eat the cookie, like, thing advert. And then you've got, like, the character dying who's wearing, like... It almost reminds me of, um... What the heck was the game we played this year? Deathloop. Like, the characters with the masks on and stuff. Like, this guy's got a horse mask on. I can't tell if it's a robot, if it's a person. But it's on this backdrop of, like... Eat the cookie? What the heck does that even mean? I don't know. More of that weird Bioshock shit, you know? Man? Yeah. Like, <laughs> but then we get into gameplay here, and the first thing we've got this like police like, officer telling us how to like like you know set this electrocute this thing. What were the name of the uh, like ability things in Bioshock? Um, what the heck were the name of the ability things in Bioshock? That's a great question. And it's, uh, it's on the tip of my tongue. Not psych, psych, -er, nope, that's not right. Plasmids, plasmids, that's it. Plasmids. Yep. There you go. There yeah. it is. This character, I paused it on this character who's, uh, I don't even know, she's like draped in like gold chains and stuff and gold earrings. She's a cool looking character. And again, such a juxtaposition of like the pink haired character we just saw. Um, and then here's, here's our first glance at some gameplay with this like thing on the back of her hand, right? So like, this looks like a battery of sorts, but I'm also getting – it almost kind of looks like that thing from Atomic Heart where they pull out, like, the wires. Yeah. It opens up, and she's got all these, like, dials and stuff inside of it. Yeah. I just – I what I, I don't know. If, is that, like, checking some sort of vitals? Is that checking – I don't know. I don't really know what this is, to be honest with you. That'd be cool if, like – I like when games have, like, their vital stuff immersed in there. Like, Dead Space is still, in my opinion, one of the, like, best examples of – putting the health bar in with the like on your suit but it's like such an integral mm. part that it's like you don't notice it but you get the information you need That's, it'd be like, cool if you could just like press you know lb or whatever or a button on your keyboard and your hand would just slightly raise up and you could see whatever is it a yeah. resource or something that would be pretty cool uh, yeah, but she like closes it and then she's like right after this lights a fireball you know it's so it's like yeah. what the heck it's like the same thing as like equipping plasmids, right? That's, yeah. That's, that's and you can see like. on the wrist. So on the next shot, it's green as if it's like fully charged or whatever. And the shot mm -hmm. before that, it was like yellow and kind of almost looked like it was out of juice. 
And then we're in space all of a sudden. And like, I don't even know what the hell's happening. We're in space. Things are purple. We got characters with guns. I'm getting very strong Bioshock Infinite vibes from the scene where the guy's opening the sliding door and there's this big glowing yeah. light. Reminded me of the um, the Booker DeWitt's office scenes where the character was opening the door and you'd have to walk, you know, it was like walk through the door, but then you were snapped back into Rapture. Right, right. So, yeah, I, I obviously they can't connect the worlds, right? It's the creators of Bioshock, but it's not the Bioshock yeah. universe. Yeah. So it's a brand new I universe, mean, I, which is really cool. I, I like that it's not like another underwater or some scenario like that. I like that they're going to space and stuff. Yeah. Maybe it's like a bunch of different dimensions or shit. I might be. Yeah, super duper different. And then this next scene here, we see just the wildest thing. We've got a, our character with a crossbow that's chain propelled. And then you've got the character with the pink hair that jumps on this like animatronic thing. You've got the character with horse heads like with a gun. I just, I don't know. I just, I truly it don't know what's going like on. A, like a barber chair that's like got guns now, right? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and, and the name is interesting, Judas, right? Like, obviously, there's a biblical connotation there, but yeah. Judas Judas is not a good character in, in the Bible. It wouldn't, it wouldn't be the first time that the creators of Bioshock uh, had a religious reference in their game. It's true. It's so true, and it's so true. And yeah. to be honest with you, that makes some part of their game really interesting. Whether yep. or not you're, you're, you're religious or not, like they are not afraid to take those types of risks. And if this is the team that was originally responsible for taking those risks, maybe it pays yeah. off for them again, you know? I think it will. It looks, it looks damn good. Looks it almost damn looks, good. And, and I'm almost, almost positive this more, is the first game from Ghost Story. I'm almost positive of that. Yeah, I don't, I don't recall that name. So that's... I know it's a new studio. I know it's a new studio, but I, I don't know if they put anything else out before this, but I doubt it. I mean, it actually looks like it gives a uh, Atomic Heart a run for its money, because yeah, until yeah. The, until now, right? Atomic Heart is the only game that's like catering to those Bioshock fans, and now you got yeah. two to look for next year, possibly. That's that's pretty cool. Yeah, no, I'm I am so excited about this one. Um, but anyways, yeah, Judas coming out. I think there was no date on it, was there? I don't think so. No, it just, just says wishlist now. Just that we can wishlist. Okay, this is definitely yeah. one to keep our eye on. We're going to have to add it to our uh, tracking chart for the new year. This is this is a big one.